Welcome back. So now we have all the dependencies, we have all the tools, we have the IDE, we have everything ready to actually build our first Angular application. Finally. Um, so let's try and do it. Let's try and build an Angular application. And here it says, this is the command to create a new Angular application. You have to write ng, and that could be for um, the ng inside Angular. Some say it's because when you say ng in some languages, it sounds like Angular. But uh, I don't know, next generation, ng, it just use, you have to use the command ng, right? So you say ng and you say new to explain it's a new project, and then you put in the name for your new project. So let's try and do that in our terminal. And I want to go up one level because I want to, this is my Angular work folder that I'm going to have all my projects in. And in that one, I'm going to do the ng new for creating a new Angular project. And here I'm going to give the name customer app, customer app. And let's just spell this right. There we go, the customer app. And I'll do an enter right here and then it'll create this customer application for me. Now you'll notice two things here. If I scroll up, I'll see that it actually auto-generated all these files for me. And one of the files is actually a package.json file. I'll show you later, but in the package.json file, there's a lot of NPM packages um, that I require to actually use the Angular project on my machine. So what's happening right now is it takes all those dependencies from this file right here there's a lot of dependencies, I'll show them soon. And it takes all these dependencies and start just downloading them, installing all the packages from the uh, node package management system. So it's going and grabbing all those packages now, that's why it's going to take a bit of time. I'll get back to you when it's done. And yes, that took a bit, took a bit more time, I'm sorry about that, but that's the first installation just takes time. So now we actually have our project ready and let's just go right in and get it up and running just to show you guys what you got now. So we've created the project now, let's scroll down and see what else we can do now. Um, if we go down here, this is how you can actually serve the application. You can write CD and then the name of the application we just built, so let's do that. Again, you'll notice that that's just a path to get into my application and that's the customer app. And here I'll do um, the ng serve now. So it's ng serve dash dash open I don't know what open is, using dash O, oh, that's what I'm used to, will automatically open the browser. So I'm just doing that instead because I'm used to actually having that one. So I'll say like this, dash O, oops, O, oh, there we go. So now I'll try and run this and see what actually happens. It should now launch my server, open a browser, and it's asking if it's allowed to open it. Yes, it is. And notice this is actually launching a Node.js server behind the scenes. It launches the browser, browser starts in localhost, 4200 right here, um, and that's going to be my local host with this port to actually run my web application, the Angular web application, and it starts up here, and hopefully soon it'll say, welcome to the app. You just built an Angular application. You did, seriously, you did. Now, next lesson we'll start talking about all the things that this is bringing you for creating this Angular application and how we can use it. Very, very cool, but you have an Angular application running now, let's just shut it, this down and have some fun. Control C a few times and uh, just press yes, I want to terminate the batch job and then you're back and you've shut down your Angular application. See you next lesson where we'll try and talk a bit about all the things you got with this, these few commands. Have fun.